Loch Ness Warriors. So we're finally getting back on the Klingon storyline. With the last episode of Warzone called The House Always Wins. The idea that one of the great houses is conspiring with Romulans to attack House Martok is troublesome. Come to the Kethel Lowlands. Worf and I would be honored if you would participate in Maven's Hecate. Once we have put our family matters to rest, you may work with Worf and Kemtar to determine our plan of attack. Very well. Serve the Empire well. Martok. We will be diminished without him. He died as a warrior born, and soon he will join his honored ancestors in the halls of Stovokor. Come, I, could, I would offer my condolences to Lady Sorella. You honor my house by returning the body of Maven to his home. My grandson was very traditional. In his honor, we shall perform an Akfo. Together, we will follow our ancient traditions by watching over Maven until his spirit is ready for the journey to Stobokor. I would be honored if you joined us in the Akfo. We would be honored to join you, Lady Sorella. In the flash, before the night, you heard the call of Stovokor. The warriors sing. Cry out your name. Welcome home. Welcome home. Let not your heart be filled with fear. The spirit soars on honor's wings. Your heart is singing. You found your way. Welcome home. Welcome home. Thank you for participating in the ACVO. It is important that we remember our traditions. Together, we have kept away the predators that would take Meven's body before his spirit was ready to leave for Stovokor. Now he may seek the fellowship of Martok and continue the warrior's journey. Takes Worf, you are a worthy Gintok to the House of Martok. Pardon my interruption, Gintok. We have an urgent security matter. House of Torg warriors were seen gathering in the first city. We have word that they are planning an assault, and will be here any moment. How dare they attack during Maven's Akvo? They have no honor. Send an alert to everyone on the estate. I will see to Lady Sorella. Prepare your men. We will not let these dogs catch us by surprise. Helumek, Kak, Jezvam. Today is a good day to die. Here they come. Show them no mercy. Defend Lady Sorella. Half talk, the angel not a fool. Add your pathetic out. You desecrated the Akvo, and for that, you will die. More enemies approach. The very Bograndor leaves soon. You shall be on it, you worthless Garut! Torn sent his lackeys to attack us during a sacred ritual. He is truly a dishonorable Takek! And I will have my vengeance. Worf, Kemtar, honored allies of House Martok, hear me now. Lead our warriors against the House of Torg and bring an end to their treachery once and for all. After everything you have done on behalf of the House of Martok, 
I ask that you see this campaign to its conclusion. The House of Torg must not be allowed to survive this day. The House of Torg's main base is located in the Gorath system. I will prepare our fleet, and we will attack while we have the advantage. Take Alexander with you, and he will ensure your ship is recognized as an ally by our fleet. Torg will soon discover that the House of Martok is stronger than he was led to believe. Make contact with the fleet when you enter the Garoth system to receive further instructions. Very well, Worf. We have input the coordinates for the Garoth system into our navigation computer. Ready to leave orbit in your command. Take us to warp. We've arrived in the Gorath system. Our transponder signal has been linked to the Martok fleet commander, and we're receiving battle instructions. The IKS Mooj will follow us. Our task is to destroy hard assets that Tor could use to mount a counterattack. To battle. Is one of the freighters. Target it before it can escape. be greatly limited. Now, Torg must be brought before the Council, so that we may reveal the depths of his house's treachery. Let's go. At last, the stronghold of House Torg. 
This will be over soon. Torg is here, trapped like a Hardybach. That will make him dangerous, but not invincible. Coward that he is, Torg will put all of his warriors in our path, including his son, Sagen. Perhaps we will have vengeance for Maven sooner than we expected. <laughs> Don't let your anger blind you, or your father may lead another Akvo soon. Sagen's quarters are up ahead. Despite being an idiot and a follower, he is the heir of House Tor. He will have supported his father in all things, even treason. Even the killing of Maven. For that, he must pay. Honor demands it. Then it will be so. Kapla. What's this? Tor severed Martok's bloodline when he killed Maven. Now, with the death of Sagen, we have our revenge! And yet, both houses are now forever bound in grief. As it has always been, my friend. As it always will be. For we are Klingon! And now that you have your revenge... We must seek any further evidence of Torg's treason. We can use what we find when we bring him before the Council. Assuming he lives to stand trial for his crimes. Idiots! You told us this place was secure! I think you died. Those shipping containers in the back court are not of these are Romulan shipping containers. But they're filled with Klingon weapons and technology. These crates are similar to those we found in the Vor system. According to the shipping manifests, they're scheduled to be transferred to a freighter with a destination somewhere within Romulan space. This evidence connects Tor directly to the information we received from the Romulan Republic captain. Tor is selling weapons and secrets to the Tal Shi'ar, and in exchange, they provide him with deniable assets, ships and assassins to remove his competitors. Torg's dishonor is great, he must pay for his treason.
You fight well, but you will go no farther, assassin! Really? Sword must be locked in his audience chamber. We must I get those not. doors open! You'll be heading there yourself, Torg, if Jimpok doesn't have you killed. Your corruption is poison. You talk of honor, but have none of your own. You see power, yet trade it to our enemies for personal gain. You rule a great house, yet have no understanding of what makes our people great. It's over, Torg. Surrender or fight, if you're truly Klingon. Don't talk to me of our people. Alexander, son of Worf, it is because of half-breeds like you that our people have grown weak. The fact that Martok accepted you into his family is reason enough for me to destroy his house. You have no idea what the future holds for our people. If you knew what the Romulans have told me, you would beg to join us. The Romulans have filled your foolish head with lies. Whatever the future may bring to the Empire, you will not be a part of it, Torg. I will see to that. Perhaps in the future, there will be peace between our houses. But you dare insult me with talk of peace? As you stand there with the blood of my son on your hands? There will be no peace between us, Mongrel. I will not rest until every man, woman, and child of House Martok are among the honorless dead, bound for Gretel. So there's a part of you that's still cling on after all. Attack. Take care of these assassins and bring me Alexander. I want to teach him a lesson. He has escaped for now, but when we are finished, we will make sure that he has nowhere to run. There will be no safe haven in the entire Empire for Tor. What do you propose? We must take the evidence we've collected to Kronos and present it to the High Council. Once Chancellor Jempok knows of Torg's treason, there will be justice at last. Perhaps they will put Torg into my old cell on Rurapente. It is more than he deserves, but it would be poetic. Incoming hail. It is my father. On screen. The remainder of our fleet has assembled in the system. The House of Torg has called in Romulan reinforcements. But if we stick to our offensive strategy, we will prevail. Form up behind the IKS Taj, and we will teach these fools how to fight ship to ship. We are honored to fight with House Martok. Thank <laughs> you. 
We're ready to leave system under your command. Warp to Kronos. Reading a few ships on attack vectors, all with House Torg registries. Someone doesn't want us to present our evidence to the High Council. It does not matter. I did not come this far to fall in battle to the lackeys of Torg. Let's show them the error of their ways. All hands, prepare for combat. <laughs> contacted Chancellor Jempok and explained the situation. He is waiting for us in the Great Hall. The Chancellor and the High Command are waiting for us as well. There, my father will formally accuse Torg of treason. Father tells me that Torg will be present as well. That should make things interesting. Let's beam down then. It is time. We must confront Torg. Tell me when you are ready. I am ready. Ambassador Warp and Kimtar. An interesting band of warriors, to be sure. The time has come. We are ready to hear your claim. Are you prepared to show evidence to support it? We are, Chancellor. Warp, son of Moog. You have called this council on a very serious matter. Speak. The House of Martok will show evidence that Tor, son of Kormog, has committed acts of treason. I will not stand by and let the House of Martok spread more lies and deceit to this council. This brave warrior, together with my son Alexander, uncovered a plot by the House of Torg to transfer weapons and classified technology to our enemies in the Romulan Star Empire. We have presented to the Chancellor's aides physical evidence and computer logs that will trace stolen weapons from the exchange 
through the House of Torg to agents within the Tal Shiar. This dishonorable Bokhtok would say anything to hide the weakness and decay in his own Enough. house. The evidence is clear, Torg. It is the finding of this council that you have lost all sight of honor and are guilty of treason. The accusation stands. The judgment is discommendation. From this point forward, the House of Torg will be no more. You have killed my son! You have stripped my house of honor! I will burn in the fires of Grethel! But not before I kill you! Father, look out! Ah! Alexander! We will control the Empire! Kill these fools! Bring me out of here! Now! It seems I am not the warrior I should have been, Father. You were warrior enough to save me. All that matters now is that you are my son. And for that, I am proud. <coughs> save your strength, son. Help is coming. They will be too late. Today is a good day to die. It will be a good death. You are a warrior. This tragedy will not be forgotten. I want to thank you for rescuing my son from Ruripenthe and allowing him to die with honor. You have done much for the House of Martok, but we have also lost much. We will see Alexander again in Stovokor. Perhaps, but the pain will remain. Alexander never realized that he truly was Kimtar, both then and now. We must remember to stay true to our beliefs. Only then can we live and die with honor. Until we meet again, warrior. Farewell, Worf, son of Moog. And with that, war zone is complete. We will make sure the House of Torg is properly punished for their cowardly actions. Torg has been on the council for many years, and I thought I knew his heart. I was wrong. I had no part in or knowledge of his acts against the House of Martok. For that, he will pay dearly. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Congratulations, you... All right, before I end this video, we'll go up to the shipyard.
Thank you, warriors, for watching, and we will see you soon.